थ्री माई होल टर्बो इज गोट गेट एब्सोल्यूटली ट्रैश Welcome back to another episode of Project Laura and if you saw the last episode you would have seen that we gave a brief introduction to what this car is the engine the specs what's wrong with it and what we're going to plan on doing with it so it's the same day as the last episode we're just continuing filming on the same day and today we're going to go and fit the downpipe to the car so the car is going to be at my friend Amir from IES Performance uh, he's going to fit the downpipe to the car we're planning on doing a two and a half inch downpipe only for now i'm not going to do a three inch because apparently if you put a three inch downpipe and you're not running uh, like a turbo upgraded car then the three inch downpipe just increases uh, turbo lag and I, i mean at least i'm not going to do a turbo upgrade anytime soon so i'm going to go with a two and a half inch stainless steel downpipe so we're going to go to amir uh, who runs is performance he's going to show us what all he's going to do with it he's going to show us the laser cutting the flange everything like that This is my mate Amir Sheikh's exhaust shop called International Exhaust Systems. IES Performance has been around for more than 30 years. My old Polo GT TSI downpipe was made by Amir and his team and that car went on to win the A4 category at the Valley Run. IES Performance does some quality work. In fact, IES Performance has a lot of influence in India's early motorsport days by creating some amazing performance headers, exhaust and other things for keen enthusiasts. So if you're looking to get any type of exhaust or downpipe or anything related to your exhaust system, IES Performance is the place to go. Amir's team was busy taking out the flange packing of the downpipe. Once the flange is removed, they recreate a replica of the flange for the new downpipe and then laser cut it to maintain the accuracy. So this is what the, uh, the guys over here at IES Performance have removed for today. Uh, this is a flange and they're basically going to scan it and laser cut it. and make a new one for the new 2 and a half inch downpipe that we are making for the car uh, so this is the only thing that we are doing for today uh, tomorrow we are going to come back over here they are going to have probably the new flange for the 2 and a half inch downpipe uh, and they are going to remove the whole downpipe as well tomorrow the next day so we were just under the car right now it's actually the second day i mean we've had a one day gap between the last filming so this is the third day basically of them fitting the new downpipe to the car they're still doing the uh, welding and like the last finishing touches so we're going to show you some epic shots of the welding and stuff as well but while they were doing it we found a small leak and that to near the turbo and it's actually kind of scary because i mean i don't want the car to blow up or something i i know it's not going to happen but it's really scary since it's related to the turbo charger but i spoke to niranjan from auto diesel right now and it's apparently only the turbo oil hose which is not a big thing and it's a very common issue in the lora so he said ki come down on monday we'll check the severity of the situation and accordingly if it's the hose or if it's just the few o rings we will find out on monday it's nothing too serious according to him Amir was welding some of the final pieces of the downpipe and adding the finishing touches. That included this final step called TIG welding which stands for tungsten inert gas welding in which the torch consists of a non-consumable tungsten rod. TIG welding is specially used for stainless steel to stainless steel welding and it is a highly sensitive and skill dependent type of welding. Thus Amir was doing it himself. 
सो वेलकम टू दी अंडर बॉडी ऑफ माई लॉरा टी एस आई एंड आई वॉज एड्रेसिंग अर्लियर दिस इज द एरिया वॉज द ऑयल लीक इज कमिंग फ्रॉम सो आई जस्ट स्पोक टू निरंजन फ्रॉम ऑटो डिसर ही सेम दैट इज नथिंग टू सीरियस इट्स अ प्रिटी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम इन लॉरा टी एस आई सो इट्स नथिंग टू वरी अबाउट यू आई कैन ड्राइव द कार बैक होम एंड विल फिगर आउट द प्रॉब्लम ऑन मंडे सो बेसिकली इट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम द टर्बो चार्जर विच इज काइंड ऑफ स्कैरी so it's a very common problem like i said so it's the turbo oil hose and apparently that thing is that goes pretty bad in most lorati sis and it has to be changed after a certain point and it's a very common problem but as you can see the whole le- uh, right side of my underbody has been covered in oil now and that is kind of sketchy so yeah uh, hopefully it's nothing too expensive as well because I am basically going broke while modifying this car. So basically there are three ways to fix this problem. One, uh only the o-rings of the turbo uh, oil hose and the turbo charger connection are busted so I only have to change the o-rings which is the cheapest route. Number 2 is changing the turbo oil hose itself which is the medium route which I hope does not happen because I'm of course it on a budget right now and three my whole turbo is going to get absolutely trashed which i am hoping does not happen because if that happens then i'm i i would be spending around a lakh a lakh and a half just fixing the bloody turbo charger of this car but if that happens then k04 or an is38 might happen but still that is something i do not want to do at all i just want a simple stage to build for now that's it A quick way to check your turbo charger's health is to check the slack of the turbine inside. Since the downpipe was not fitted yet, I quickly put my hand inside the turbo charger and started to move the turbine around to check if there was any unnecessary movement. And thank God everything seemed to be absolutely fine. So, this is the new downpipe, completely stainless steel and this is the old downpipe. Um as you can see it has two catalytic converters one is over here and one is over here whereas this is does not have any catalytic converters so um we're going to be fitting this onto the car very very soon right now and a few cool things about this so this is a very custom made kind of thing so at the top it's a 3 inch you co- uh, come down over here it's a 2 and a half inch and after this bit over here this whole thing is a 2 inch downpipe so those two steps of reducing the uh, size and the radius of the downpipe helps reduce the turbo lag so virtually there will be no turbo lag and the car can pick up from even 1200 rpm since uh, turbo lag is quite a big issue in these uh, skoda old skodas this will hopefully solve most of those problems Should I start it? All right so after a long day of work Amir and his team have finally put on the new downpipe and the results are very noticeable even without the tune or even the performance intake i can instantly feel the power gains that are possible with this new downpipe so um i can instantly feel that the car wants to rev uh, much more eagerly and the needle once you floor the car goes up all the way to the red line very very quickly 
so the throttle response is also much more crisper uh, i can feel each and every ounce of input that i'm putting into the throttle so these are the very few and very noticeable instant observations that you can make once you've done like a proper downpipe to this thing uh, apart from that yeah i mean i would highly recommend is performance to anyone who wants to get any sort of exhaust work or anything like that done they've done a they've done a cracking job on this uh, downpipe that they've done for the lora and as you know uh, my old polo gt tsi downpipe was also made by them and uh, yeah that is a basically a race winning car so i would highly recommend is performance for any sort of exhaust work uh, their links will be in the descriptions contact them freely and they'll get your work done apart from that go check out our merchandise as well on throttlestore.co.in uh, we've put out some amazing looking merchandise and it is the type of merchandise that you do not have to uh, think and wear or it's not like an occasional kind of uh, merchandise that you only can wear at car meets or anything it's uh, stuff that you can actually wear every day the quality is amazing so yeah go check out our merchandise and subscribe to us on the youtube channel follow us on instagram follow me som saraf on instagram follow all of the other team members on instagram and i'll see you in the next one mcrae on the inside going to take it and say